Hello, hello everyone! Welcome back to the channel! My name is Crafty Summer, and we are back with another Friday night stream. So hopefully everyone is doing fantastic. So today, um, we are going to be continuing playing ca uh, the Crown Tundra. But first, because I got my cards in on time for some amiibo writing, we're going to take care of that first because I think it's something that's fun and I'm really excited because these cards aren't actually out in Canada. They are only available in the UK and they're only going to be available in the US come March 26th. So, because they're a Target exclusive and we don't have Target in Canada. No, we don't. We, do. we used to, and then they got rid of it. And now a word from our sponsors. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, so anyways though, I'm going to go ahead here. We're going to switch over to just chatting. I'm going to open up my camera. Alrighty. Oh, we love that reflection. It's not a cute look for me. Alright, so anyways though, these are the cards. They are NFC 215s. And those, and they are the NFC kind of readers that um, the Amiibos use. So I also got Splatoon as well for the Amiibo bins. So the first thing, and I also did try it already on Chai, who was one of the Senrio characters. So I'm not sure if I want any of them moving in. I mean, we just got, I mean, I just got this not so cute guy from a friend's island. So we'll see. All right, so anyways though, Let's go ahead, let's get started on our fun little tag writing. So we're gonna a little bit of tag, so I already did Chai. So we're gonna do Chelsea next. And I actually found that like this phone in particular is a lot better at uh, doing this than my old phone was. So we just put it underneath the phone and done. And then we just write the name so I know which character this belongs to. Because once you have written in an amiibo on these NFC cards, they are no longer... You can't reuse them, you can't rewrite them, so... Yeah! <laughs> Alright, moving on to the next one. Oops. We're gonna load another tag, and we're gonna do Marty next. So let me just grab out a new card. We're gonna grab Marty, and we're going to write a tag and just put it underneath there. Oh, tag was lost. That's not good. Um. Oh, yeah, I know, I know. Write the tag though. Thank you. Oh, this is gonna be fun. This phone's not having. Okay. I love how like I was just saying how easy this was on this phone and now my phone's saying nah fam there we go there is Marty so let's go ahead let's put on Marty then we're gonna do our next one here which is, oh, I hate that. Load up tag. We got Rilla. Oh my god, I'm really excited to see these characters in my game. Ah. Uh, okay, so we're going to write the tag, put it underneath my phone, tag detected, and done. And that's Rilla. I would think of something cuter at like a later date, but this is just kind of makeshift for now so I know who's on what card. <laughs> Cause I'm thinking of getting Shari and Molly on cards too. Cause they're kind of cute little characters I like a lot. Next one is Toby. Yeah, next one is Toby. Right tag. 
Make sure that's on, and then mm -hmm. right. And then this is our last card before we actually start the Pokemon stuff. So this is the card that we're going to be putting on... E load. We're going to be putting on Atoli. I'm not even sure how to pronounce that. That is... Ooh, they're kind of cute. I don't know. I guess we'll see what happens when we actually get them into our island. Atoli. All right, last one. Right tag, put under, tag detected, and written. Alrighty, that was super duper simple. I thought that was gonna take a little bit longer than I thought it actually would, so there you guys go. And yes, my phone does have a case. I just didn't want anything, you know, personal popping out because this is also like a wallet phone, so. Yeah, wallet, important documents, let's not. Okay, we're gonna switch over the camera to the switch, and we're gonna go to no cam. Alrighty. Anyways, let's get going on our Pokemon adventure today. So I was selling some things because I did go shopping again for more clothing. Because I like clothing, and no one can stop me of liking clothing in Animal I mean, not in Animal Crossing, um, in, uh, in Pokemon. So, because, you know, hi, hi, hi. what? Please calm down, it's not Pokemon. No. But look, she's so cute! I love it. I love player customization in games. It's like my favorite thing. Okay, so there was this super cute Pokemon somewhere that I really wanted to get. There's a Swap Blue. Swap Blues are pretty cool too. Oh, we got experience. Oh, there's experience candy. Hmm. Not very big ones, but I found a Snowball. Which boosts the ice. Wow, I could have used that when I was uh, fighting Leon. <laughs> Just to take out, um, okay, so, hmm, I really don't want Cinderance to, like, take it out of one shot. Maybe we'll actually get Ombreon to take the, to take the wheel. So I don't think these Pokemon go past level 60. So let's get, I really want an, um, an um, 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 I don't know what it is. Oh, look at the shiny Umbreon. Oh, even though I really wanted something else, but it's okay. We're gonna do takedown. It, oh no. <laughs> I'm in trouble. They use light screen. I don't even know if Umbreon has a special. Use double edge. I may have miss under. I may have a. Uh, I may have poorly planned this. Yeah, I must have. Okay. Ah. Uh, here, go into a great ball. You're cute. Love me. Oh no. Okay, well, uh, Umbreon, it was nice while you were here. You just barely made it before fainting. <sighs> Who do I want to take out? We're gonna take out Bolton. He might be more likely to, you know, not kill what I'm trying to catch. What? I seem to have missed that note about, you know, um, that being a thing? 
And I still killed it. I didn't want to kill it, but here we are. Seems about right. Okay, so... Um, Umbreon wasn't really the best option to have up front. I'll be honest. Um, we'll probably be- we'll probably- actually, maybe we might, uh, put him up front. And then just go into my bag here. And just kind of quickly... And boop! There we go. Yeah, okay. Anyways though, let's carry on. We're gonna go into the, uh, into the max layer today, so that's gonna be fun. <laughs> we'll catch one of those cute little Amiras when we're done in the max layer. Here we go! Please, sir, I can't let you- Oh, I think you can. My precious daughter is in there and I'm going after her. I understand, sir, but- But what? I'm here to have an adventure and I want to kick it off right now. I simply can't allow it, sir. Grrr. Oh, there you are, lass. So you've come after all, have you? Alright. Nothing's alright, and everything's the matter. This ultra maggy numpy of a scientist insists on getting in my way. Numpy of a- I beg your pardon, sir. If you would be so good to simply listen, I could let you through. Dynamax adventures are quite fraught with peril, and I'm afraid, and... Gah! I have no patience for standing here, listening to you rattle on. Rattle off the fine print. Ugh, we're just going around in circles. You seem to know this gentleman. Would you simply... Would you simply listen to my explanation? If so, then I could allow you two to enter as a pair. Haha! -ha, now you're talking! Go on then, let's hear what the good lady's got to say. And then we'll go find my little Nia together, right? Right? Okay. Are you ready to hear my explanation of Dynamax Adventures? Oh, maybe I should go. Yeah, I know, I'm sorry. Give me a minute. I should probably go and take care of my Bolton and my... And my Ombreon, just like fully. I, I'm kind of scared. I might need them. I don't know. We'll have to, uh... We'll have to see what happens. But I don't want to, like, leave them. Leave them, like, hanging. And apparently this area is, like, really big. Like, really big. <laughs> so let's run down here. We're gonna go grab a quick little heal from Freezington. Go back up to the max layer and hope for the best. I'm kind of, I'm, I'm kind of nervous. So restore my Pokemon just to be safe. I don't want to be left hanging. Oh my god, yawn! Wow. Okay. That wasn't even worth a while. Okay, back up we go. We're gonna go see the situation up front. <coughs> I'm a little worried. I'm a little nervous, if I'm going to be honest. I don't know how well this is gonna go over. Yeah, just leave me alone there, guys. I'm gonna... I'm, I'm just running. I'm running into this cave again. Now that I've gotten everything kind of taken care of, okay, let's go listen to her explanation. Yes, I am ready to go. Now that's what I like to hear, mate. I owe you one. Very well then, I will proceed. The max layer is a labyrinth underground... Is, is a labyrinth under, underground cavern where rare Pokemon dwell, the likes of which normally are not found in the Galar region. 
Form a team of four trainers and set off to explore the, mis the, the mysterious Max Lair. See if you can find the legendary Pokemon said to await you in the deepest part of this unusual den. To take a part in, the, in a Dynamax adventure, you must borrow a single Pokemon to accompany you. To get things started by having each trainer select the Pokemon, they will take... Oh, okay, so it can only take one. As you explore this den, you'll come to branches in your path. Decide as a team which way to go. When you come across a Dynamax Pokemon, it'll be time for a max raid battle. Catch the Pokemon, and you can swap with one of... With, with, with the one you have if you think it'll help you press on into the decks of the den. Okay. To avoid the risk of, gal of, of Galar Particle's overexposure, which can cause your own gear Pokemon to lose control, we have prepared Pokemon for you that are resistant to the Particle's effects. Right, right, I follow you. You're saying you don't want Galar losing control, so the Pokemon rent some Particles, and we might see a rare overexposure. That was stunningly incorrect, sir. Hello, Lonely, how are you? This place is a dangerous place. Please make sure you, you've you got a firm grasp on the rules. I'm still a touch lost, but that's the type of place this is, eh? Right? Sounds like this is all a bit beyond me, so I'll just go on in and get cracking. Here comes Papa, my darling Nia! Hi, oops, how are you? Sir, no! I just told you, it's too dangerous! What is going on with that man? He looks so much like Chairman Rose, but his attitude doesn't match the Chairman's at all. When you're ready to go, chase him down. Pardon me, I meant when you're ready to begin your Dynamax adventure. Please let me know. And at this point, people, I'd like to let you know that this is what exactly how she sounds when she's voice recording. If you go on a Dynamax adventure, I will provide you with 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 a Dynite Ore as a reward. I will also allow you to keep one, just one of the Pokemon you catch along the way. Would you like to embark upon a Dynamax adventure? Yes, please. Yes. You know what I said? About my voice recordings? Yes. Why would you say that? Because this is how you sound. You are still new to Dynamax Adventure, so we suggest trying them alone for now. Just to get a little familiar with, 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 with the rules before you invite some friends to join you. Okay. So let's not invite others then. And now we gotta borrow one of these Pokemon. So I think we're gonna do him. A steel type, which should be... Ooh, okay. Let's see here. Ice or dark? Hmm. Dark. This is what we're doing today there, guys. We're doing this. Alright, here we go. Oh, this should be easy. <laughs> Dynamax energy. We're gonna Dynamax and we're going to do a max rock fall on this light part. Alrighty, yeah, do that animation there, girl. <laughs> and that is... But yeah, no, that's interesting, though, that, like... That, like, they don't want your Pokémon to, like, be, like, over... Overwhelmed... By... The Dynamax Particles or, like, whatever. Even though they basically live in Galar. I don't know, I find that quite weird. Use Rock Ball! Yeah! Knock that down into yellow pretty fast. He's probably gonna get more aggressive. He's probably gonna get a lot more aggressive. 
know. Oh, everyone's getting buffered. <laughs> Shoot. Um, Max Steel Spike. <laughs> ah, it doesn't affect me. Oh, okay. So they actually don't get aggressive. That's interesting. And that's really good to know. And boom! Gotcha! Like <laughs> part is reek. Throw a Pokeball! We're gonna catch it! We're gonna catch it with a... Uh, probably just normal... Actually, hmm... Oh, let's catch it in... A premier ball, because why the heck not? Because why the frickle frackle not? <laughs> oh my. And gotcha, life bar was caught. Alright, moving on. Um. I'm good without it. One. Um, okay, so our next options is grass. Okay, well, they're both grass, so let's go this way. I wanted the berries. <laughs> I really wanted the berries. A Lilligant? Fight, we're gonna do a Rock Slide. Okay, so like I can't do a Dynamax every max raid. I still like, I have to like, charge up before I can do it again. But I mean though, I feel like too that maybe these are kind of like, Adjusted because I know that like sometimes these battles can take a little while. Yeah. So that's fun. Steel roller. Oy vey. Now we just gotta have to sit through these Pokemon battles. Which, I mean, everyone's doing a pretty vibrant job already doing it. Oh no, it failed. Shoot, oh, th that's not what I wanted. Use an iron tail. Hmm. So while I'm looking at these Pokemon too, I'm also kind of thinking if I want to, like, take them with me. I mean, the look at kind of a vibrant Pokemon. There we go. And she's down. Little against weak. We're gonna catch it. We're gonna catch it with just a normal Pokeball, because why the frickle freckle nut? <laughs> I mean these I mean like these I mean I tend to find that like the catch rates are a little bit higher in in in, in the dens. But I guess it really doesn't matter either, since like we're not keeping them. Hmm. Quiver dance. Uh, yeah, I'm good about it. Okay, so the next one is ground, electric, or grass. Let's go grass. Because then we can use that, we can get another grass type, and um, get ready to face the water one. Oh, hello! <gasps> the Tassa, Tassarina, whatever you want to call it, I'm not sure what you want to call it. Welcome back, Nickelback, how are you? Dynamax, Max Steel Spike. 
And then we'll like trade out this guy for... Right? That's what I want to do. Hi, Mime Tracker. How are you? I'm hoping that this works the way I want it to. Thank you, team! Oh, yeah. I got a yawn. Oh, that's... Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> um, I'm doing pretty good. We're just playing some Pokemans, and, uh... Yeah. This is my first time doing the Dynamax Adventures in the Crown Tundra. So... Wow, okay. I'm feeling really confident about taking this Pokemon with me. Yeah. You know, I'm really confident about taking this Pokemon with me. And then we have mostly grass types. That I am right, right? I have to be. Yeah, I have to be. Yeah. Like, grass types are effective against water. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I keep... <laughs> Okay, good. So, I'm. So, what I'm thinking is what's working. Okay. I'm not just being crazy. Oh no, we got sandstorm happening now, and everyone's gonna take some damage. Oh. One of them. Sh oh. One of them swatched out. There is a. Uh, swatched out their. Their grass. Uh. Yeah. Get out the portrait guys. Fight. And we're gonna do another max rock fall. Cause I want to use this Pokemon going into the water fight. Max overgrowth. I don't like where those seeds come from, okay? That looks just kind of a little wonky to me. Let me just point that out, just how weird that looks. Okay, let's catch it. We're gonna catch it in a great ball. I just realized I wasted a great ball on the Pokemon I'm not gonna even get to keep. Oh my god, okay. One. Woo! Right, this is a different time. Alrighty, so we're actually going to take that Pokemon into the next battle. I want to swap Pokemon. Yep. Alright, last one. Let's go. <laughs> um, I don't know what we're going to do. What is this one? I'm nervous. I'm scared. I don't want to do this. Ooh. 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 Um, fight. Uh, yeah. Haha. -ha. I planned. I planned. <laughs> we love it. We're off to a, we're off to a good start. I have about like 74 altogether. Um, I don't really, I don't really play to catch them all. I, I, I play because I want to. <laughs> That's the whole point of the game, is to catch them all, Alex. <laughs> Nikki can, can Dynamax. We're just gonna keep doing Trop Kick because that's really effective against Sweet Pea's Calm Mind. Use Quiver Dance! Yeah. I... I don't know. Screech! That did nothing. It just... just lowered the fence. 
traffic. Oh, we love it. We love it. <laughs> I'm gonna catch a spooky today. That's a mood. I am down for that. Keep going. Just keep going there, girl. Keep going. <sighs> um, I like to play a variety. Um, I mean, I play simulation games. I play sandbox, like Minecraft, GTA, stuff like that. Well, GTA Online is definitely a very sandbox-like game. Um, what else? I play RPGs, which I don't really play on the channel that much. Um, the cur oh, right now I'm currently playing through Xenoblade Chronicles 2, and that's been a really awesome game to be playing. It's been a lot of fun, so I've been very happy with it. <laughs> um, And yeah, just like... Oh yeah, and puzzle games. I like puzzle games too. I think those are fun to play. Or like, the little puzzles, yeah. No, we gotta do it! We gotta do it! So we can use the waterfalls, which isn't very effective against the grass team. Woo! And Sweet Coon's down. Uh, no, you have to... You have to like completely deplete its health before you can catch it in In Dynamax Adventures, like in Max Raids, it's it's a little different how 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 these games work. One, two, three, Whee! <laughs> it worked. It's caught. Yay! Like, sorry, it's sweet. I'm, I'm sorry. It's just, if you couldn't catch one of the three legendary cats, I'm gonna be. I would be pissed off. Aren't they dogs? They're cats. Choose one of the Pokemon you would like to keep. Well, I mean, I mean, one. Yeah. There's only one correct answer in this situation. Do not make the wrong choice. Uh, no, we're not gonna give Suikun a name, we're gonna send it to the box. You sent it to the box? Yeah. It is a cat that shoots water. <laughs> you know what? When we get our next cat, I'm gonna name it Suikun, just out of spite, because you are very mean. Or, or Entei, or Raikou, I don't know yet. Hang on, I recognize you. Are you here for a Dynamax Adventure 2? Wicked! Guess we're on the same wavelength. I'm Peonia. Nice to properly meet you. What about you? What's your name? I'm Heike. Wow, what a perfect name for you. It really suits you. So my dad's on his way here too? I haven't seen him. Has he got turned around? And wound back at and wound back at the entrance. <sighs> Listen, sorry for, for for using you to distract my old man back there. He's as stubborn as a mudbray. Things go all right after I left. Yeah, sure. What? You beat my old man? You sure put pull the blinder there? Well, yeah, I'm the freaking champion. He used to be a gym leader, you know, even on holiday. He's no pushover. Again. Champion, hello. <laughs> you know, my dad was going mad with excitement for this trip. He kept going on about how he planned for us to check out local legends on the super intense adventure tour or event tour, as he called it. That's lame. You're lame. But I mean, come on, what girl my age would be caught dead doing some naff thing like that with her dad? Besides, I really fancy having more battles with Dynamax Pokemon. Ah, uh, the thrill of battling one of those massive, towering Pokemon. 
Just think about it, get, gets me pumped. <laughs> You know what? I just had a thought. You're a pretty fierce trainer, right? Yeah, I'm the champion! And I bet you could handle taking my place on my old man's adventure. Sounds like great fun! <sighs> Too right it does! It's a brilliant idea if I do say so myself. He's so hyped up about all of this, it'll be a shame just leave him on his own. And who knows? You could end up running into a legendary Pokémon. I feel like that's a hint. How about I meet back up with you two after I have my own fun in the max lair? Go on then, enjoy your twosome tour of legends. Tell my old man a deal, deal and all that. Boy. Well then. Uh, what happened with him? The poor gentleman has been injured. After much kicking and screaming, I've brought him back here. Uh, it hurts. It ultra mega hurts. Nia, where's my darling Nia? Are you alright? This fine gentleman appears to have tripped on a rock and struck his head. Uh, adventures aren't to be taken lightly. I've learned that first head now. First hand, I mean. I was just checking to see if my little girl was, was, was behind some rocks, and look how I've ended up. Behind some rocks? Is your daughter a roly coly, sir? There we go, I'm up. No little bump's gonna keep me down long. That hip's got me feeling light as rain. How about it then, Lance? Did you find my darling Nia? Well, here's how it went. Hmm, you don't say. So my dear Nia is set on staying away until she's had her fill of this Dynamax adventure stuff. And she wants the two of us to go ahead and get cracking on the Grand Peony Adventure Adventure. You know, I burned the candle at both ends working out the best itinerary I could for my dear Nia's sake. But I guess she's at the age that she doesn't that, that she doesn't want her old man tagging along all the time and trying to press her into doing what I want to do probably won't win me any Dead of the Year awards. Right then, what's your name, kid? Heike. Cheers, Heike. My name's Peony. Wait, I have a, wait, have I already told you that? So... <laughs> wait, hold on a second. What was the character's name? Peony. Uh, I... Mal malfunction in brain. Must then not it's make joke. Twice as nice to meet not you. Make a joke. Okay. I got his leak card. Uh, what? Can I make a joke? I'm scared. Why does the person's name sound like pee on me? Okay then. Um, uh. let's have ourselves such a smashing adventure that my dear Niga will be itching to join in on the fun. Yes, let's. Let's just make him happy. Now that's an ultra mega great response. Just what I was hoping to hear. <laughs> We're going to have ourselves a real treat of a legendary Pokemon hunt. So that's decided. Now then, Heike. Let's get ourselves to Freezington. It's a town just a short ways off. Time for a strategic planning meeting for Peony's Adventure. I'll fill you in on the details once you get there. I say, let us reconvey post haste. <laughs> Just pulling your leg. Can you imagine if I actually talked like that? No, I could not imagine. Okay, let's get going. That was fun, though. We're definitely gonna do some more tours like that. He moves fast. Okay, let's go. Let's get going.
Alrighty, so we're going to meet down here at this post space. But you know, apparently this map's pretty big, so I'm, I'm kind of ready for a big adventure. Freezing Tin, ta Crown Tundra. Yes, I was already here, game. Thanks for, uh... Hello, hello! What do we have here? Another visitor? I am the mayor of this town of Freezington. I must say it's a surprise to have villagers having to have visitors arriving in our out of the way town one after another. Might you be here to learn about the legend of the King of Bountiful Harvests as well? Sure, let's hear about it. Ah, uh, never mind. It hardly sp it hardly bears asking. After all, there's very little otherwise to attract the visitors to our sleepy corner of the region. Which is a bit of a shame, really. People come all this way to investigate what turns out to be a mere fairy tale. But since you've made the journey, I must offer you this freezing tin specialty as a memento. I got a boat neck sweatshirt. Three. It's a shirt embalsamed with, with the likeness of the King of Bountiful Harvests. I'm afraid it hasn't quite sold as well as we would hope, but we got a fair number left over. The illustration is based on an extremely ancient account of the King's appearance. Hence the usually unsized head. But we thought we would make a design a touch more hip, as they say. If you would like to see what, what the king really looks like, I suggest you take a look at the statue by, by the fields in the center of our village. By the way, while you're here in the Crown Tundra, feel free to lead your Pokemon out of its ball and take it for a scroll. A scroll. A, a, a stroll. There you go. Farewell for now, then. Oi! I'm sorry, but the character's name sounds like over here, Heike! Okay, so now we can let our Pokemon out for uh, our Pokemon. Oh my god. Our Pokemon out for a stroll out here. Which I guess is pretty cool. Alright, anyways, so let's go and see what Peony wants. Haha! -ha! Here you are! This pokey little place will be our lodgings. Hmm. Yeah, I see it. Yeah, this is our lodging. But as of this moment, it's also something far more important. Our base camp. I know, I know. Not much of a base camp, is it? Still, we've got to give it a we still gotta give it a proper air of importance, haven't we? Now Enough faffin' about now enough faffin' about Heike. Let me tell you about what the Peony Exploration Team is after. Round here, they've got a fair few strange and mysterious legends. For example, a huge head of Pokemon known as the King of Bountiful Harvests! What the hell? Not to mention a massive red tree where legendary flying Pokemon gather. And furthermore, the great hulking dot faced giant giants that sleep in some ruins or something. Etc. See what I mean? This place is just bursting with juicy legends. And we're not stopping until we found them, just how much truth they've got to them. And there you have it, we are the Peony Exploration Team. And that is our grand, noble, magnificent goal. So we're catching legendaries, eh? Of course, if I had my way, I'd be doing this with my darling Nia. Well, guess what? Nia doesn't want to. But who knows? They say even Chansey's meetings can lead to, bliss to, to blissful relationships. So here's to a grand adventure expedition, Chief Heike. Chief? 
obviously, look, what do you think would happen if, if the two of us went galopating off together? My dear Nia would come along for our, for a grand emotional reunion and find this place empty. And just the thought that my own daughter sitting alone in this room, pinning for her papa. God, nope, not on my watch. I would never let that happen. So I will be the hold down the fort chief, which means you're gonna get the, the pressure of the, the uh, they get the pleasure of being the expedition chief. Which brings me to this. Go on, have at it. I got a uniform. Look at me! I am ready to go! Oh yes, look at that. Super comfortable. <laughs> look at that! Fit you like a glove? I brought some, some, some spare uniforms so my dear Nia could have a few things to change into. And there's enough to give you one. If you ever need to change or have a, or, or have a kip, by all means, just head into the, back, into the bedroom back here. There's only one bedroom? What? I've got some different colored scarves in there to switch it up if you fancy. Ooh, yes, please. Here, have these two. Ooh, legendary clue one. A clue about it's written by. Ooh, okay. There's a fairy tale in Freezington about the legendary Pokemon known as the King of Bountiful Harvests. In the legends, the king is said to wear a massive crown on its head, but the wooden statue near the field of the, in the middle of the... Yeah, it doesn't show it. Legendary 2. Far, far into the giant's bed lies a temple where, where, where the giant of stone sleeps. On the temple's doors are the strange words. Let the the door remains firmly shut. Sunken in the side of slow of, of, of snow slide slope lies a temple where the giant of ice sleeps. On the temple's doors are the strange words. Together, living door. Okay. Where the green meets the meets, meets snow in the giant's bed lies a temple where the giant of steel sleeps. On the temple's doors are strange words let out. The distant paths of three point pass lies a temple where, where two giants sleep. On the temple doors are strange words. All do the door remains firmly shut. <sighs> when the sun reaches its zenith, it shines directly down upon a great tree with leaves that seem to burn. It is there that, that the legendary wings come to roost. Oh, First off, why not have a look at that clue about the King of Bountiful Harvests? Seems like this King Bounce with its loyal steed, or whatever you call it, run proper deep. If I had to name the expedition, I would call it... The Sacred Bonds of Sovereign and Steed. Sovereign and Steed. That's a great big statue of it bang in the middle of the... Of the, of the though its head isn't as massive as in my notes. Uh, no. Time to investigate the legends surrounding the crown tundra. Ah, I just had an idea. Here's a little something to help you out. A master ball! What? I thought there was only one of these things! This is supposed to be one ultra mega corker, corker of a ball. Use it whenever you think you want to. I got it ages ago from someone I used to know. Never could bring myself to use it, though. If you ever get a bit turned around, come back to base anytime. You can't miss it. Just look for the adventuring crew crew flag I stuck out front. Handmade by yours truly. Anyways, 
I suppose that's that. Let the grand adventure begin. Have a smashing time out there. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is change my armband. Yes. I want a... I want it to be blue. No. There we go. I just want it to be blue. That's all I wanted. <sighs> and so begins our great adventure. There's one of the temples. And that's a big tree. Yeah, so there isn't. A statue of a Pokemon, but somehow it feels like this something is missing. So something is... <gasps> oh! If I go back in here... That would match what's on the head. Hey Chief, my pillow's caught your eye, eh? Your pillow? Listen here, Chief. I've got some wisdom to impart. You can put your head on it and have a kip. It's a pillow! Unfortunately, I went and left my favorite pillow back at home. So I went so I went to have a look around town for something to rest my head on, and I found this back out behind the inn. Can I have it? C come off it! You want me to hand over my ultra mega comfy pillow? That's asking a lot, even coming from you, Chief. Hmm, what's that? You think my pillow's got something to do with the legendary Pokemon? Gah, Ultra Mega, seriously? This is just an old thing I found. But if you really want it, Chief, who am I to refuse? Alright, alright, go on then, have it. But you better make sure you track that legend down. You've obtained a wooden, a wooden crown. Wait, hold up. You, you were, you think wood would be a comfortable pillow? Okay. The statue of a Pokemon, but somehow it feels like it's missing something. It looks like the wooden crown would fit onto the statue here. Yeah, let's fit it. Let's put it on the head of this Pokemon. Russell, Russell, Shwonk. There we go. The wooden crown fit perfectly on the statue. Well? <gasps> Does it want you to follow it? I want to follow it. Let's go follow it. Yo, you're kind of ugly looking though. Crap, crap. It seems as if the mysterious Pokemon wants to test your strength. Do you want to ready a Pokeball? Crap, crap, crap. I just realized something. I feel like there's a really big Pokemon. Okay. That's fun. But I paralyzed it. Aerial Ace. Please tell me this is not weak to have. Oh, I, I, I don't know what this is, even. Okay. Oh. Good sir! 
I feel... I feel kind of insulted. Um, I really don't want to push my luck here. Oh. Do I just knock it out? I guess so. Like, this fight's over. Like, let me just try it again. Yeah, I can't- yeah, I have to knock it out. Or maybe I have to put it to sleep. Oh, well, it's too late now. I don't know what to expect from that. <laughs> I guess we're gonna see now. Exactly what it is. Quick crowd! Round, round, ground! Who are you? Round. Crack, crack, round. Round, crow, crow, crow! Recount! Crack, crack, crown! Croon, crown! Hmm. Oi, oi, what's up? I heard a big ruckus coming from over here. What's this now, Chief? Were you having the Pokemon mail? Yeah. Huh? What a massive noggin! Hmm. Round, good crown, good What's this? Ah, man! Oh, what? What the frick is happening? Did you just like? What are you doing? Ah, oh, yes, a sturdy body, just as I expected. I hope he doesn't mind that I make use of it for the time being. Chief Peony? An understandable reaction, but the answer is no. I am Clarex. I am the one known as the King of Bountiful Harvests. I have borrowed this man's body in order to thank you in person, so to speak. Indeed, there are no words to adequately express my attitude, uh, my gratitude towards you for restoring my statue. In days long past, I reigned over these lands as king. The humans offered me their loyalty and respect, and I was able to bring lush vegetation to the land and give them plentiful harvests year after year. However, it seems that over many, many years, the people of this land have forgotten my existence. They used to make offerings to me every year, but even that tradition has been long since been lost to the ravages of time. You see, it is the faith of the people that grants me strength. And now that I have lost all but a fraction of my former power, even my loyal steed has abandoned me. However, you were kind enough to restore my statue. That act has returned some strength to me, at least enough to speak to you by borrowing the body of another. Now, kind-hearted human child, I have a favor to ask of you. I must know once and for all whether the people have truly forgotten about me. I wish you to speak to the villagers and ask if they remember the King of Bountiful Harvests. I have tried asking them myself, you understand, but they treated me like, like some sort of fairy tale creature or flew into a mild panic at the sight of me. Please, kind hearted human, I beg of you to help me. You draw it down the current status on the legendary clue one. Clayrex appeared once I placed the crown on the statue of the King of Bountiful Harvest. Clayrex can apparently speak to humans by taking over another person's body, peonies in this case. Now I need to gather more information on the King of Bountiful Harvest of the people of the village. Now if I... Oh, that's kind of freaky. I would like you to ask the people of the village if they remember the King of Harvest. 
A bountiful harvest. Okay there guys, so it is now 9 p.m. We are going to go on a on a five minute break. So we will be back at 9.05 p.m. MST to carry on and ask the people of Freezington about what they think of the legend. Anyways, I'll be back and I'll talk to you guys in a minute. Drown too deep, no strength to fight. My guy's so good, and he goes Turn it around. Now, keep that in 
Alrighty, we are back. I am just finishing up some food. So, um, yes, I hope you guys get comfortable. Because we're going to start doing our little walk around and talking to all the village people. About what they think of the legend. Hmm? Apparently he detected something. I don't know what's happening with him. Okay. Sorry. Let's go ahead. Let's go back to the live. And we're going to carry on and figure out what the people think of the legend. <laughs> Oh, this is- this is the- He's not gonna help me. Okay, cool. Leo. Hi there, welcome! I've got- God damn it! I don't wanna to talk to you either! How about you? The King of Bountiful Harvests? I used to believe it was real, you know. I was told that if I made mischief in the fields, the king would steal my body away. The Pokemon King? <laughs> Oh, sure. Oh my god. Mm. Food. Oh, sure. My grand used to tell me stories about it all the time when I was a kid. An old fairy tale that... Oh. Okay. Does this not make me very hopeful? Oh dear, I'm sorry. I'm rather busy doing nothing right now. All I want to do is ask you a question. But okay. Hey, you. The King of Bountiful Harvests. Well, if it exists, why doesn't it heal the, the land around here so we can grow crops? Hurricane. Mmm. Because you need to believe Are in you it. Kidding? You need to believe in it first, there, sir. Also, oh, hello there, Cameron. Hmm. I really want that Pokemon, though. <laughs> do I remember the King of Bountiful Harvest? Well, of course I do. It's only the main tourist attraction of our lovely Friesenton, after all. I imagine we would see more visitors if only the King were real. I have asked the people of Friesenton about the King of Bountiful Harvest. Time to report back. Oh, that makes me so sad. Oh. They really did forget about... About the king. <clears throat> ah, human child. I trust you were able to speak to the villagers. Did they say anything about me? They did, but... Mm. It is as I suspected. Nobody truly believes that I am real. It seems the people of this land have indeed forgotten the bond they once shared with me. Hmm? No. Of course I am not grieving. I am the king of bountiful harvests, after all. I'm better than to count on humans to remember me. This proves beyond doubt that I cannot simply rely on human faith if I want my powers to return. If only my loyal steed would return to me, I would regain, I would regain something of what I've lost. Your loyal steed? Yes, the four-legged Pokemon that I used to ride all across the land. The very same Pokemon that my statue in the village shows me riding. Alas, although in ancient times we spent many days together dashing through the valleys and over the mountains of this land. My power waned, and I was forced to part ways with it. Now I don't know where it may be. Even if we should succeed in locating my loyal steeds, I have my doubts as to whether it would it has remained well loyal. I have lost so much power. Perhaps the villagers know something about my currently not so loyal steed. 
I would be in your debt if you could speak to the head of the village on my behalf. If you are able to find any information at all, I ask that you let me know. <laughs> ah! Huh, Chief? What a massive- with, with, with a massive knocking- or wait, no, it's normal. I must have fallen asleep where where I stood. Sorry about that, Chief. Still, I feel strange. Like my body is not quite my own. I gotta head back to to uh, base and get some rest. Besides, it's freezing out here. Oh, if only you knew. If only you knew, good sir. Anyways, if you're, Cam, if you're still here, hello. How are you, Mr. Cameron? The mayor's not home at the moment. He had, he went to have a look at the fields in Giant's bed. You can go look for him if you're in a hurry. The fields in Giant's bed are southeast of the village. Go through Frost Point Field and just keep going to the left. Wow. Y'all think I have the ability to walk through and not get lost? Y'all have a lot of faith in me. Owen. Owen's now meowing. Come here. Okay, well that wasn't a bad adventure. I thought I was gonna get lost. Let's just go grab some of this stuff here. A cracked pot. Which is for which is an evolutionary item. We do not want to screw with the Snorlax. The Snorlax will beat us up. Alas, this field is no good either. The soil is barren. No crop could possibly grow here now. Perhaps the lands of the Crown Tundra truly are beyond hope. What's this? Oh, our dear visitor. What brings you here? Mm hmm. Hmm. You want to learn about the loyal steed of the King of Bountiful Harvests? Well, this is hardly the place for storytelling. Come to my home in Freezington. It's better to have a nice chat in the warmth, after all. Please, whenever you're ready, I'll be waiting. Good sir. You just left me in this field. I don't know where I'm going. Okay, actually no, I think I know where I'm going. But yes. I will say, though, that I am quite impressed of how big this world is. Like, there's a lot of things happening. There's a lot of things happening. And I mean, like, I actually love the fact that now we have the Pokemon walking around and stuff. Like, it just kind of adds to the, to the atmosphere, in a way. Alright, but anyways, though, we are going to head up towards... The fr up towards the mayor's house and have a chat with him. Have you seen what's happened to the statue of the King of Bountiful Harvest? Its head has become massive. Hmm. You say that's the way the king's supposed to look? Now that you mention it, it does resemble the design in our town souvenir shirts. But you speak as if you've seen the king with your own two eyes. The statue's been broken since I was a child. Oh, of course, you wanted to learn about the loyal steed of the King of Bountiful Harvests. Well, I don't know why you'd be interested in such things, but come then, follow me. An old book I read long ago said that the King's loyal steed was, was particularly fond of certain special vegetables. But my memory isn't what it used to be. I can't recall exact what exactly that steed so desired. I think it might be best if you do search the bookshelf over there, if you want to find out any more. 
Oh, you're a cutie pie. Karat. There's all kinds of books about the Crown Tundra. Which book would you like to read? The King's Proud Steed. Gave power over its uh, gave over its power to serve the king and carry hither and thither. The two even became one for a time, combining their strength to to create a forest in a single night. This proud steed has been a wild thing once, ravaging the village crops and much and causing much well. But the king, in all its greatness, brought this fierce creature to heal and secured its loyalty. And for each among us who claimed the steed's hide was black as midnight gloom, in which ghosts appeared. There is another who claims it was white as a block of solid ice. None alive can say now which is the truth. The hardy... While carrots can be grown in Crown Tundra, they have rather unusual growth habits. When the growth beneath the heath snow, these hardy roots tend to develop into ice root carrots. The, when grown in tracks close to where many souls are laid to rest, Shitter root carrots will be your crop. Shitter root carrots are the favorite treat for many ghost type Pokemon, while oats, while ice type Pokemon seem to delight seems to delight in eating ice root carrots. According to old fairy tales, the steed that the beautiful that the king of Bountiful Harvest rode upon loves both of these varieties, or perhaps one or the other. Records seem to contradict with each other, with some stories speaking of a white steed delighting the ice root carrots, and the others mentioning a black steed devouring shader root carrots. Okay, well I got my information. So, the thing likes carrots. <laughs> of some sort. Uh, And there is the king. Can I just say how creepy the king is? Like, wow, okay. How he just kind of, like, just vibes? I don't know. I think he's kind of weird. But we are gonna go back and we are gonna talk to, to, to the king. Crow-row! Crow! Hmm. Oh, hey there, Chief. I had a feeling someone called me. Was it you? Huh? Human child, were you able to find something about my loyal steed? Yes. You say you found out about something that my loyal steed could not resist. It's been so long since we rode together I, that I had completely forgotten. With this information, we may be able to lure my... My loyal steed to me yet, so tell me, what is it? Oh, what will my loyal steed find so irresistible? Carrots. Oh! oh carrots, you say? Yes, yes, I remember now. Even back when we were together, it would leap at any chance to eat some kind of crop. It took everything I had to restrain it. Looking back, the crop must have been carrots. I am in your debt, human child. What we must do now is clear. If we are able to find Come carrots here. somewhere, it should be but a trifle to lure my loyal steed back to me. I wonder, do the humans of the village do the do do the humans of the village grow any carrots? Mm. If we could change even a single seed, I could grow a carrot for myself. Okay, so we are carrying on. We have to go get a seed, which we know exactly where we can find seeds. Maybe we'll buy two seeds, maybe, just in case. I don't know. Looking for carrots? Yeah. Uh, oh. Yes. Oh, wonderful! This is plenty! Now we can bury the ore in our field and make our crops huge. Here are the seeds, as promised. Oh, I get a bag of them. Yeah, no problem. Um, you don't even think I have to worry about that, to be honest. Here. 
Have you found the carrots, human child? By the stars! You say that you have carrot seeds? That... That strange bag contain, contains the seeds of carrots? You humans never stop adapting and evolving. I am constantly amazed by your ingenuity. Your ingenuity? Your ingenuity. And yet, hmm, the village, the, the, the fields of the village simply won't do. They're not suited for growing carrots. If we could find rich soil, I, I, could, I could use my powers to grow the crops we need. Now, we might... Now, where might we find some soil suited for growing these crops in this tundra? Ah, I see two spots that might suit our needs. One is a field of pristine snow. And the other is is and the other another spot is where those who moved on were laid to rest. Either of those locations should allow me to use my powers and grow the carrots we need. Please, I ask that you choose a field and plant those seeds. Stiga! What in the? I seem to be getting in the habit of falling asleep outside. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it just shows. I guess it just. I guess it just goes to show. Well, holding down the fort is not that easy. You take care of yourself, Chief. Don't overdo it. Yeah, whatever you say, Chief. Okay. So, I kind of want to go to the graveyard first. Not Nanny! Oh, it's a child. Sing that song about the King's Steed Pokemon! Of course, my dear, I would love to. Oh my god, as dark as gloom, crunched, crunched by the bully with the ghostly gloom. Now make sure you eat your veggies too, just like the Pokemon in the song. Yes, Nan! Hmm. Well, I think I'm still I, I, I still I still want my specific thing. So we're gonna go down to the graveyard. Because that's where I want to go. And then I guess we'll kinda see where her dash takes us. I mean even if it is the wrong answer, I mean I'm okay with that. I would rather it be the wrong answer and have a party. Then have it be the right answer. And I still have to go and find it anyways, you know? So I would rather we find the graveyard, because there hasn't been a graveyard in this game quite yet. And that's kind of why I want to go to the graveyard. Because there hasn't been an actual graveyard in this generation of Pokemon. So the fact now that we have a graveyard makes me want to go and check it out. Old cemetery. Can I read any of these stones? No, I can't. Well, that makes me sad. That's kind of one of the main reasons why I wanted to be here. I wanted to read the stones. Oh well. That's okay. I'll grab a Pokeball. And then I'll go up here and we'll do some planting. It's fine. It's one of the fields Colorex Col told you about. Do you want to plant the carrot seeds in this field? Yes. I see you have reached one of the fields. You plant the seeds in this field, shader root carrots will grow. It has been so long that my memory is hazy, but I believe that my loyalty would often partake in this sort of vegetable. If shader roots, if shader root carrots were what my steed preferred, it must have been a ghost type, mustn't it? It's most vexing that I can't recall. I suppose we'll see. I will ask, but once more, are you sure this is the field you want to plant the seeds? Yes. Yes. 
Very well then. Maybe this is all, maybe this is like, ah, very good, very good. You have a naval hand for working with soil. Now this time I did my part, let me show you my powers. <clears throat> Crow no! Round woo! Crow round! Yo, that's some magic right there. <laughs> rumble, rumble, rumble! Doink! Gasp! You planted so many seeds, yet, yet my powers could only get one to grow. I think I have fallen so low. But soon it will be time to bid my sorrow farewell. Now, human child, I ask that you pull that Shinaru carrot free with all your might. Yes, sir. Yes. One and two and pull! A shade root carrot. Produced but that the king grew the gloomy fields. Well done, human child. That carrot will be the key to luring my loyal steed back to me. Now all I need are the reins of unity. They will emptify my power, letting me ride my loyal steed with ease. I doubt I shall ever get another set from the humans in the village. Whoa! What, Spectre? My loyal steed, is it truly you? That glossy black pelt, that rough, violent gallop. That has not changed from the day we first met. Oh, how this brings back memories. Sure, sure. It is my belief that while my steed picked up on the scent of the carrots, it could not determine where the scent was coming from. <laughs> Judging from the, oh, from the direction it ran off in, it must be headed to the village in an attempt to pillage carrots there. If that is true, then Freezington is in, ch is in danger. Human child, we must make haste! Yes, absolutely there, sir. And... We need to run back. I, I don't know where it is, and I really don't want to travel. I don't want to skip travel, because I feel like that will kind of ruin the sense of urgency in this. I might get lost there, guys. It's okay. I am probably going to get lost. No, nope, I think I found- no. No, I am most definitely lost. Well, shoot! Owen, come here! Nah! With the meowing! Come here! My cat has lots of opinions come today. Here. Nah. Come up here. I don't know where home is. I am lost in this forest. I definitely did not take the right. That is to uh, the shrines. I don't want to address the ledge. I kind of want to do one legend at a time here and there, people. I don't need to be doing multiple. I don't need to be doing multiple legends. Even though I have no idea. Oh, I just ran to the ground. I kind of don't want to deal with this right now. You see, we're kind of running to find to find something here first. So, uh, if you could please hold. Old cemetery. Okay, I think I found myself. I think I refound my foot. I think I have refound my footing. I most definitely did. Okay, we're good. We're back in business. I found where I'm supposed to be going. We're good. We're super good. Okay, so we gotta go back into the snow to find our next to get 
to rescue the village. Freezington. Oh my gosh. Brim, Rim, stop! Sheesh. Oh, I wasn't anticipating getting into a fight. the worst freaking Pokemon out. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Cinderance, can you do something? I just realized that I probably have the worst Pokemon out for this. I really want the ghost type. Charge, please tell me that'll work. I mean, it's not physical. Okay, good. I was not anticipating on this happening today. We're gonna bounce. Get out of the way. I don't care if it doesn't affect her. It. Whatever you want to call it. It's now confused. Oh yeah, it actually affects it. Wow, okay. We'll do that then. And it's actually confused. Rather you do that to yourself than you do it to me. Okay, we're gonna bounce back up though. knock you out. Good. And knocked out. And we got experience from that fight. I wasn't sure how that was gonna go over. Rim, rim. Brah, brah, brah. Eek! C crown! Brr! Shahi! Are you all right? Y yes. I feel like something stepped in to save me. A tuft of black mane hair. Oh kind visitor, how can I possibly thank you enough for saving the people of this village? I had no idea such a vicious Pokemon still existed in the tundra. Why, it reminded me of the Pokemon in the fairy tales, the loyal steed of the king. Ah, uh, but no doubt, I am overthinking things. Hmm. What is it you have there? Is that a tuft of black mane hair? In the fairy tales, it is said that by weaving the hair of a loyal steed together with, with a radiant blossom grown by the king, it is possible to create the reins of unity, which will link the, k the king with his steed. In fact, it was my own ancestors who used to weave the reins of unity, following an ancient tradition passed down over many years. 
Of course, I myself have never seen such a radiant flower, and the method of making the rains have been lost to time. In any case, we can't spend all day musing over fairy tales. I must make plans and preparations. That Pokemon could well decide to pay us another visit after all. Thank you very much for your help, kind traveler. And now we have to go back and talk to this guy. <laughs> My goodness. You know, it's such a shame that uh, Peony didn't want to come and I mean, not, not, not Peony. Nia didn't want to come and join us. You have my thanks for protecting the village, human child. W were I at my full power, I could have tamed my steed and regained its loyalty. <clears throat> but weakened as I am now, the most I could do was influence its will and make it depart. If only I had the reins of unity, they would have to allow me to tame my steed in short order. We can make a set. That was that? We can make a set of reins with mane hair for my loyal steed and a flower that I can grow? A flower, a flower. Yes, but of course. I had assumed that, that, that the humans stopped making the reins of unity because they had lost their faith in me. But it's because I've lost the power to grow the material needed. I spent far too long holding my misguided assumptions, it seems. It has been many centuries since I was able to grow a radiant flower. Doing so drains much of my power. But for whatever reason, a fraction of my power seems to have returned to me just now. There is only one thing to be done. Let the radiant flower bloom! What's happening? Crown is blooming! No way! Take this, human child. <sighs> it shames me to admit, but the whole flower is beyond me right now. I do not know that petal will be enough, but I still must ask who used it to try to, to create the reins of unity. The descendants of the family who once made the range should still live in the village. I put my hopes on you, human child. So I just have to go and talk to the mayor again. And the mayor should have something on it, right? Yeah, I think so. Let's go talk to the mayor. Mayor. Ah. Uh. Hello again, savior of the village. Can I do some more reading? I need a favor. I beg your pardon. You want me to make a set of reins of unity? Well, I say that presents a bit of a problem. If my dear great-granddad were still around, he would have been able to make you a set. But unfortunately, we've no one left who, who knows her traditional ways at this point. What's more, I doubt you have the flower. You would need to forge a set of, of the reins. I got a petal at least. Is that a petal from a radiant flower? If so, would that not mean the King of Bountiful Harvest has truly- No, no, I dare not hope. If I recall, my ancestors made reigns of unity by following the ways passed down in fairy tales. There were two key, key materials, a flower and hairs from a Pokemon. But I'm afraid those old traditions have long faded from memory. Still, how can I refuse a favor, to, a favor to help such a kind and helpful guest? The materials, if you please. Let's see what happens. I can't promise this will turn out as well as my as the ones my granddad would have made, but. Time to breathe life back into the traditions of my village. Damn, let's do it. I'm afraid it doesn't come out well at all. 
I fancy myself a crafty enough short, but I suppose it would take a craftsman of truly delicate technique to make such fine reins. Oh, please don't look so subjected. So I am very sorry. Truly, I am. Oi, Mr. Mayor! The hot water in my shower seems to have gotten holiday. Ah, oh, yes, terribly sorry. I'll have a look at it soon. Oh, you're here too, Chief? Were you in the middle of something? The pair of you seem awful gloomy. Here's what happened. What? Is that all? <laughs> all you need to do is to make some nice cord? Pass me those materials for a mo. Alright, got my pedal, got my hair, now what am I supposed to do with them? <laughs> if I may be so bold, allow me to share a song that survives from the legends. Blossom woven round and round, a, a, a royal gift in Maine's hair bound. Steady on, old bloke. The singing's a bit much. Oh well. That'll do for an answer. Hey, yeah, yeah! All finished. Have a look. Think this, this will do? Yeah, well. That's great. You're more capable than your face lets on. These reigns of unity are, are, are a spinning image of those in my family's tales. <laughs> I don't sew all my rebellious daughter's clothes for nothing, you know. Even the explorer outfits I gave you what was handmade by your truly by, by yours truly, Chief. <laughs> in my case. It seems like you've got the reigns of unity you need. Isn't that just smashing? Dang! Would you believe it? I caught myself falling asleep outside again! I was chilled to the bone, so I thought I would warm up with, with a good hot shower at our base, but the water coming out was ice cold. Oh, okay, well I didn't get a chance to read that part. <clears throat> Human child, were you able to make the reins of unity? You bet. Oh joy, what glorious news. I have some good news of my own. Of my own, I was finally able to track down my loyal steed. It is making its home in the crown shrine. It is the place where my, story, where, where, where my loyal steed and I spent much time together. I have been avoiding that the place as I feared I would get trapped in my, in my own nostalgia. Why has my loyal steed made the shrine its home? Is it reminiscing about our time together? No, it can't be. The crown shrine stands majestically atop the mountain to the north. Bring the carrot and the reins of unity and meet me there. I shall hasten there now, but you may come whenever you feel ready. I am counting on you, child. Okay. So, we're going to go up and meet up with the, uh, but first we're going to go to the inn and get ourselves healed up because I wasn't anticipating that fight. <laughs> um, and having a Pokemon that's more or less, uh, um, not really a special fighter since they have more physical since they have a much more physical move set so he said the north mountain which is over here all right let's get going i guess right he said north he said this mountain i'm hoping so I'm probably gonna get lost again. It's fine. <laughs> you know what? We're just gonna fight it. Then we're not like getting like thrown off by the surprise. Because <laughs> that was a surprise. I'm hoping I'm, I'm hoping I'm going in the right direction because that would be kind of awkward if I wasn't. 
Cosmic power. Nice. Okay. No. I am most definitely not going the right way. You see, I'm already lost. What should not come to us as a surprise to anyone? I am known to get lost in everything. At least once. Um, like we're talking about Zillow Blade. Zillow Blade, I get, I get lost like several times because it's, the maps are confusing. I'm not gonna lie, as much as I love the game, the maps are kind of shite. <laughs> like, I can't, I, I don't quite understand who thought the map was, who thought the, who thought that map made sense. Because that map doesn't make any sense. The map makes actually quite zero sense when you think about it. It's not a good map. It's quite an awful map. Okay, um... I know that there was like a way to climb. I just don't know where it is. And I don't want to get into too many fights right now. Particularly right now. Oh, I just don't know where to go. And I don't want to start looking at other at other mysteries of the Crown Tundra just because I kind of want to address one legend per stream, please. We'll do a legend per stream, and I think that'll be good. So I feel like each deserves their own stream. For the most part. Okay. But it really is a pain in the butt trying to find... Trying to find where I'm supposed to go. Like, I don't know where I'm going there, guys. <laughs> well, I think I found it. I think I found the path up, question mark. I might have. I don't know. I guess we're gonna figure that part out. No. I just found another diff I, I just found a different point of the of, of the field. Okay, let me look. Let me look at this. Oh okay, so I got okay, so I gotta go down. Go okay. Okay, I think I figured it out. Go away, Jinx! I don't want you! you creepy face looking Pokemon. I don't know, Jinx kinda gives me nightmares. And I know that like Jinx was kind of like this face of controversy as well. Um considering how it looked. But yeah, I don't like it either, so you know, it's okay. I just kind of think that Jinx is a... It's kind of a funny looking Pokemon. I'm not gonna lie. Alright, so we gotta so we got keep moving down this way. This is the giant's bed. I don't want to deal with the Snorlax right now because he's chunky AF and he's gonna make my... My life a living nightmare. That's how I see it. Okay. We just gotta keep walking down this way, I think. Maybe we'll get up on a bike. That'll probably make us move a little quicker. There we 
we are. Look at that, I found my way. That's always, I mean, I think one of my biggest complaints is that, is that, I mean, now don't get me wrong, I like the fact that this is a very open concept, but I do kind of feel like I get a little lost. Um, but I also have a very poor sense of direction. Me and sense of direction don't tend to go together, so, you know. No, they do not. I get lost quite easily. I tell Alex to go left, she'll go right three different times. Alright, anyways though, looks like we can start climbing our way up. Now that I know where I'm going. So we got a cave. Oh, it's a tunnel to the top. Okay. I mean, we vibe. So many Zubats. Very fitting for a cave. To have many, many Zubats that overwhelm you. Look, I really want to see this, this thing get like a happy ending. Is this cave literally a freaking? oh no, it's a maze. Oh no. Oh no, I'm not good at mazes. Okay, never mind, we're good. Path to the peak. Okay, we're almost there. We're almost to the top. What the heck are these Pokemon? These weird ice bug looking things. Okay, put away the bike. We're gonna carry up to the top. The Crown Shrine. Whoa, man, look at that. I could see why the the crown shrine would be would be the choice of of, uh, of the king of bountiful harvests and his steed. Okay, I'm gonna grab that pokeball though. Oh, there's two pokeballs. So let's grab this one here. Psychic. What are you doing exactly? You're not doing anything. You're just like making random <clears throat> random communication to me. We got it. Okay. Pokeball. Max revive. <coughs> Alrighty, and yeah, we're back with the creepy looking peony. And I'm just gonna check around this area, see if we can find a, a Pokeball. Yeah, Pokeball, yeah! A King's Rock. Is there one behind these trees? Okay. Move on up. I've been waiting, human child. The Crown Shrine is a place I once called home. Spectrier must... Th must think me helpless now that I have lost my powers and taunts me by making this place its own dwelling. Ah, I see you indeed brought me the reins of unity. You have my thanks, child. Alright. Ah, the feeling of holding these again. The color, the way they shine in the light. Oh, how this brings back memories. Is a very proud Pokemon. One might call it even arrogant. It will not accept me as its master again unless I am able to prove that my power outweighs its own. I will use the rain, the reins of unity to pour my power into the very body of my loyal steed. It should convince it that I am still deserving of its loyalty. Now, human child, in order to, lo to lure my loyal steed to me, place a shade root carrot into the basket near where Spectators made its bed.
Yes. Alrighty. That's a weird looking carrot, I'm not gonna lie. The time has come, human child. But you have successfully defeated my loyal steed. Oh no! It will not willingly approach anyone it considers to be a threat. We must hide and wait for Troop to appear. You know, maybe warn me that it's gonna fight me again because I still have my very not so useful physical attacker on me. It's at in my in the lead of my party. I guess we're just gonna suffer. going to gnaw on the yummy carrot. <laughs> he only really doesn't know what's happening. Oh, yo! Do it! Do it! Yo! Let's freaking go! Okay. That's vibing. And just like that. Oh my god, look at how cool it looks! I'm so happy. Oh my god. I guess it does vary on the type that you... I guess it would vary. So, like, no answer's wrong, it's just based on your preference. Which, I mean, I don't know if I fully regret this ghost decision, but I think it's kind of cool. What in the world? Such a huge noggin, and it's got a ride? Crown, round, 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 crown. What? It can talk? Crown, quick round. What, what did you, what do you want? Oh my god. Huh, I've got no idea what you're saying, but somehow it makes sense. Hold the phone. What in the world are you anyway? Oh, not again! Human child, thanks to your efforts, I have been reunited with my loyal steed. I am finally at my full power. I was convinced that the people no longer believed in me, and I had also lost my loyal steed. I was trapped in the throes of, of deep loneliness, but you saved me. There are truly no words to which to fully express my gratitude to you. So I have a suggestion. If you are able to catch me, even with my powers restored, it will prove your worth beyond any doubt, and I lend you my strength on your journey. Owen, what are you doing? Once you have readied yourself, come face me. But, ah, but first, I should get this man back to where I found him. It would be no good to let him freeze out in this frigid climb. Okay, bye! Okay, we're gonna get Cinderance out. Cinderance is my star Pokemon. And before we screw up, we're gonna save... Because... Oof. Crown! Crown! Do you want to ready your Pokeballs in order to catch? Yeah, let's do it. I'm scared. I don't know what to expect from this fight. Bro, crown on! Oh! I don't think we're gonna be able to handle this fight. <laughs> I mean... I mean, we'll give it a shot! We'll do one attack and see how it handles. We'll 
see how it handles. I don't think he's gonna be able to do this though. Pyro ball. No, okay, we're not able to- okay, we're not able to handle this fight. <laughs> hello, uh, hello there, Kawaii Bear Plays. We're gonna run. I could not get away. Oh no. Oh no, that was not a fight. I That is not a fight I am ready for. Not a fight we are ready for. Good thing I saved before I decided to just kind of yeet that. Alright, anyway, so there guys, it is now 10 p.m., which means it's time for us to wrap up our stream. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this stream. Thank you for hanging out with me tonight, and I will see you all next time. <laughs> Bye there, guys.